How's it going there YouTube? I'm Untethered. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to start a new Let's Play series for Kenshi. I've been scouring the early access titles on Steam for a gem and boy have I found one. Uh, if you are into open world sandbox games, if you're into RPG titles and you're looking for something new, something that has a lot of depth to it, something that you can pour a lot of time into, then I highly recommend checking this game out. There are several different ways to start. I'm going to start as the Lone Wanderer, which is pretty much just you get a little bit of cash, you get some rags on your back, and a club. You're not a part of any factions, you don't have any friends or family, you're just out there um, trying to make the best of things. And how you develop your story and what you decide to do is where the depth really starts to kick in. I mean, you can be pirate, a trader, you can open up a business, you can build cities, all kinds of good stuff. I'm not going to try to over describe all of it right now because there's a lot to talk about. The setting is really cool. If you're a fan of the animated series uh, Afro Samurai, the setting reminds me a lot of that. It's just sort of post-apocalyptic weird samurai stuff. Just really cool. Several different uh, races in the game. Human, Shek, Hive, and Skeleton. But um, we'll talk more about that when we get into the game. I'm going to be playing as a human, as a Scorchlander. And again, as the Lone Wanderer, hopefully I do not get cannibalized or enslaved or murdered within the next five minutes of me starting this character. Because it's definitely happened to me before. We're going to jump in and be very careful in the beginning because I am not about to save scum. Let's see what we can do. shanty town. Everything's pretty beat up. Um, I've actually seen this town before and the only business here is this bar. And the rest of this are just broken down little shanties that you can buy and repair but I think I might want a better starting location to start making some money because I don't want to just rely on this bar. So, I think I'm going to venture out. Let's take a look at the map. We're of course right here. This is a huge map. I believe this is part that's still in development. Here's the only other city that we can see. Perhaps uh, they have more to offer. Some more businesses, shops. So. Let's see if we can safely make our way to that city. I haven't been able to travel very far in this game safely at all, but I'm going to do my very best. Okay, so what's over here? these hungry bandits here. These little hordes of assholes run around all over the place and they're just ready to steal your shit and stab you and all kinds of things. we have made it to the city we were looking for and it looks like it's gonna be pretty good really promising I mean I already see guards so unless those guards you know tear us in half when we get close to their city I think we're gonna be alright cuz there's definitely no one trying to guard that other shitty shanty town All right. 
Alright, what's up boys? Oh! So this is a Shek city. And they're calling me weird things like flat skin. Um, I guess I'll show them my gear. Go is in leave their city. Can I go in? Alright. Let's go in. Still doing okay. We're not hungry. What we need to do is find some sort of ore deposit nearby so we can start selling things. Okay, so I found something to mine here. I think it's copper. And it's right outside this back entrance. It's the opposite entrance than the one we came in. So. This is nice because it's really close to town. We can run right back in and sell our goods. And we can probably seek protection from those guards if we get chased by something nasty. It is indeed copper, and we are now fast forwarding, and we're panning out to make sure we're not getting jumped. Alright, I'm back. It's uh, just past day two. It's about two in the morning, and uh, we got some mining done. We got, got chased off by some bandits. So I just ran into town real quick, and the only shop that's open, or build business that's open, is the bar. So I'm going to try to sell some of my ore at the bar. And of course I am getting heckled by all of these Shek people calling me flat skin and all that. Nice. Yeah, get in there. Look at those big swords, those are awesome. Oh, they're like one shot in these dudes. Oh, not that guy. Awesome, that's exactly what I need right here. Beautiful. I wonder if I could loot any of these. Let's get in there and loot. Beautiful. I'm gonna steal all of this. You guys, I just hit the jack fucking pot. Okay, so I've ran back and forth, looting and selling. It's still day two, uh, about the end of day two. Got seven grand. We're gonna get ourselves a backpack. Now, uh, we still have four grand, and we're gonna look for another partner. Okay, so it's four in the morning on day three, and most of the people in this city 
are checked and won't even talk to me. And the ones that do, you know, are laughing in my face. The only person that's willing to get hired by me is this person here, Nines. And Nines costs six grand, which is twice as much as most of the other people that you can hire in the game, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, this could be my chance to win over the people here in this city. Maybe they'll treat me a little bit better if I have a friend that looks like them. So, I'm not too far off six, actually. Maybe I'm just going to save up and, and grab him. Hey, thanks for watching my Kenshi short. Uh, this is going to wrap things up for episode one. I'm going to do a little bit of boring mining and I'm going to get some funds to grab nines. And I'm going to meet you at the start of episode two with my new buddy nines. And we're going to possibly start a business, maybe buy a house, who knows? I'll see you then. In the meantime, stay in the moment and have fun.